So, um, just to go, go on that, let's talk about his mental state, okay? Because, <laughs> because this guy is still obsessed with your emails. He talks about it constantly. There's, I mean, these, he's these, obsessed with her. And with you, yeah, he's yep, obsessed yep. with her, uh, with you. And also, they're, they're chanting, lock her up. I mean, he has every criminal working mm -hmm. for him, and they're worried about locking you up, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, I think three things. First, um, I do think that he knows uh, that uh, he's an illegitimate president. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he is, he's, he's very uh, insecure about it. Mm -hmm. uh, look what he's trying to do now. I mean, part of the Ukraine scandal that is slowly coming to light is he's trying to figure out how to say, no, no, it wasn't the Russians, even though our intelligence uh, community and everyone who's looked at this said, yeah, yeah, it was the Russians. He's trying to say, no, somehow it was, you know, the, you know, Obama, you. Hillary, you know, Hillary. whoever. So he is, he's obsessed with the fact that he was helped a lot mm. um, in his unprecedented ways. His ego ways. can't handle it. Yeah, he, he can't handle it. But the second thing is he, he accuses other people of doing what he does. Yes, projection. Mm. And I didn't understand that yeah. projection. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that uh, originally. And I, you know, it was so odd. I mean, he accused people of all these things. And that's like a, a central part of his personality. Yes. Mm. And then thirdly, I just think that he is someone who has to dominate and be, you know, the only voice in the room and the biggest guy on the block, mm -hmm. the master of the universe, and he can't stand any kind of questioning or any kind of dialogue. I mean, I, you know, I had the great, great pleasure of both working with Abby's dad and Megan's dad. And, you know, true American patriots, leaders of the highest order, and we didn't always agree. Yeah. Um, but boy, mm -hmm. you could have a terrific conversation about what the options were and how best to proceed. Mm -hmm. And you'd walk away friends. You'd walk away as colleagues. And now all of a sudden we have a president who gets rid of people who uh, disagree with him, mm -hmm. who tries to silence people, who is sending our attorney general, apparently willingly, on uh, this uh, round the world trip to make up stuff to uh, try to prove that uh, his election wasn't influenced by the Russians. So I just think that it's a whole mm. constellation of problems, Joy. Mm. Mm. And he's helped and aided and abetted by these Republican leaders who don't call him to account on any of it. Well, you know, in the book, we highlight Margaret Chase Smith, a Republican woman, senator from Maine in the 1950s who was the first and for a long time only Republican senator to stand against uh, Joe McCarthy. Yep. Mm. It was a lonely position for her. Uh -huh. She went to the floor yeah. of the Senate. I mean, I, I just get goosebumps because having been in the Senate, you, you, know, you go to trying to make an important statement. She went to the floor of the Senate. She was actually on the little uh, subway car that takes you from the office buildings to the Capitol. And Joe McCarthy got into the car. And, and he looked at her and he said, oh, Margaret, you're going to go make a speech today? And she goes, yeah, Joe, and you're not going to like it. Mm -hmm. And she made that speech, <laughs> mm -hmm. calling him out and, and really calling her party to mm -hmm. take action against him, which eventually uh, they did. Yeah. And so you, you need people like that now, yeah. you, you know, you need to have a Is there anybody? Well, I hope so. I hope that, you know, I hope like when, you know, John McCain gave that thumbs up because it was the right thing to do, even though his, his party in the Senate wasn't in favor of it and obviously the White House wasn't. I hope we'll see some Republican voices. We've seen a few murmurings out of the house mm -hmm. uh, people saying this is troubling this is yeah. something we need to worry about either what that happened or they resign people. right or they resign yeah. more people that are just saying i'm done with politics because yeah. i don't have a choice you either have to stand with trump or you're well, done Chuck and Grassley clearly decided he he couldn't take it anymore yeah he came out and said what the hell well he said the whistleblower yeah. is legit yeah